Hazard Assessment and PPE Based on the hierarchy of controls, PPE is the last resort. Personal protective equipment alone should not be relied upon to provide protection against hazards, but should be used in conjunction with engineering controls, administrative controls, and procedural controls. OSHA requires a PPE assessment to identify hazards in the appropriate PPE to protect employees from the hazards. Have you completed your PPE assessment for your work site? There are seven steps to complete a PPE hazard assessment. Inform affected employees of the process. Involve employees in the process. Review the job procedures, potential hazards, and the PPE currently in use. Review data. Look at work-related injury or illnesses, near misses, safety concerns, or suggestions submitted by employees to get helpful information. Conduct a walkthrough survey. Observe workplace layout, location of employees, work operations, hazards, and places where PPE is currently being used. Hazards to consider. Impact, penetration, compression, chemical exposure, temperature extremes, dust flying, debris, falls, radiation, noise, and electrical. Select PPE after considering and or planning for other controls. Select the PPE which provides at least the minimum level of protection required to protect the employees from the hazard. Note the PPE for each task. Document the results. Complete the PPE assessment form, sign slash date the form, and make accessible to employees. Revise protocols. Update any departmental protocols to reflect the findings of the PPE assessment and conduct any necessary training. Reassess the workplace as necessary. Review the PPE assessment periodically. A reassessment must be conducted when new equipment is installed, accident records show an issue, and when the previous PPE is no longer suitable. Now it's time to conduct or review your PPE assessment forms. If you have questions about conducting PPE assessments or any other safety concerns, contact UA Safe State for assistance.